just watching a bit of Rick Van Man. So I'll put him on standby while I do my tasks in the kitchen tonight. I've just had a delivery. I've had some very attractive pots turn up. Look at them with a little cork on top. If you know what these are for, then you know. Although one of them has turned up without a cork on, so that's not good. But it's better that one to be corkless than them all. So I'll put them to one side because I want to put them into the library area later. I've bought some new scouring pads. Oh, I know. Interesting content this is, isn't it? <laughs> but these are, because we try and do a bit to save the old planet, you know? And I've had these about a month and they're good. But sometimes you have something and you need a bit of a harder edge. So I've bought a pack of 10, I think they were. And like those ones, they can go into the compost bin when they're finished. But I'm not going to have them all out, because if you have them all out, then you end up using them all. Thanks for all the supportive comments on my recent video when I wasn't feeling too up to the mark, all back to normal now. And thanks for all the information that you sent me as well. I am looking into non-alcoholic fatty liver and the relationship with sugars, fructose and all that stuff. Now, another purchase, I've had a load of prints, pictures to go on the wall, just to brighten the place up a bit. They're in the living room. I'll show you that in a moment. I'm gonna make a cup of tea in a minute. Look at that, look how posh that is. I do like a bit of green glass. That is for my, although I'm disappointed, because look, it comes with a, what do you call this? It comes with that and it's made out of cord but in the picture I was convinced that it was a bit of metal beading but I bought it because I have used up my washing powder not my washing powder my soap powder and I've been using this one which is radish and bergamot but the problem is it doesn't give any lather and I do like a bit of lathering going on. So I thought I would try another one. So for the same co company, I've bought this. Look at this. I don't think I'll be buying washing up powder for at least another year or two. This is wild rhubarb and lemon. So it's not just any rhubarb. This is wild rhubarb. So I'm expecting big, th big things. So let us see what it smells like. I was going to say tastes like then. Oh, you can smell the wildness in it. And then I thought I would pop up some of it into this bottle so I can then have it on the side. So it is Saturday evening now here in New Wales. I went to the shops this afternoon, but I left it so late. By the time I got there, the shops were closed. And that was f four o'clock. So I'm still adjusting to living in Wales. And on a Saturday, all the shops close early. And then nothing opens up until Monday. But I did manage to get some food and a bit of chicken. But this non-alcoholic fatty liver, I will have to change the way that I eat. And from what I've read and from all, from all the information that you've sent me, I must stay away from vegetables that grow in the ground. So carrots and parsnips and things. Although that is what I've got for my dinner tonight. So I'm just using up the last of the things that I've got. But it's all to do with the sugar and how the sugar affects the liver. So... I need to eat vegetables that grow above ground, apparently. So I'll try this out now. See if it gets a bit of 
lathering going. But look now I've nearly filled this pot up and I've still got loads of this left. With a lot of the stuff that I show in the videos I do put the links so before you ask me where can you get something go and have a look at the links in the video description below. So now I must remember this is for washing up stuff so if I'll put that underneath the sink and then hopefully I will remember I won't start siphoning liquid through it in order to drink it. Look at that, see? Bit of style in the old Welsh cottage. Right, I suppose that means I need to, to now do the dishes. These are the dishes from last night. I bought this new t-shirt and it's, there seems to be a bit of a there you go, that's probably just ruined it. But it was only a it was only a few pound. Right. Well come on, come a bit closer and let's make an old lather. This device here to drain the dishes is absolutely wonderful. It is one of the best devices that I have in the house and I'll show you for why. So you've washed your dishes and obviously there's a bit of water. You then put them into this to dry and watch now. Look at this. It's got a little runaway soak where all the water just gently drips down and goes into the sink. I think it's great. Again, if I can find the link, I'll put that in the video description below. Right, let's put the water on. This water does come out a bit fierce. Right, I'll just put the sponge in there so that it doesn't make a noise on the video. And now we have to wait for the hot water because I've discovered that since I turned that knob off in the airing cupboard, it does take about 30 seconds for the water to warm up. But to be honest, that's fine. Not in that much of a hurry. Do you have a bowl in your sink like this? Or do you just wash them in the sink? This is something I picked up from my cousin's house. They always had a, a bowl in the sink. So if the dishes are in there and you need to do something then you can easily lift it all out do whatever and then put them back in again right it's now getting warm so the idea is this will sit on the side so that one is finished so I can go in the bin so it might have to go up there but the idea is you just take it down one two Squirts. And now let's see if it gives a bit of a lather to it. Because I'm all for saving the planet, but I do like a bit of lather in my washing up liquid. There you go, that's a lot better than the last one. Who would have thought you'd, you'd be sat in the house now watching somebody do the dishes? There you go. Look at that. Nanette Newman would be proud. Now in response to your questions, your suggestions, I'm thinking I might build some shelving here and then have a extension lead from this plug over to here and then I can have all my devices a lot of people said when you've finished with the toaster put it away I just think that's a bit of a faff I want my things there so I can pop some toast in and you know 
pop some bread in and make toast. I don't want to be going through the rigmarole of having to pull something out to put it on the worktop, then put it back. Although things like this, they do take up a hell of a lot of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some chains there and have them all up on the wall. It's easy to forget. I've only been here five weeks. You know, there's still plenty of stuff to do. And I'm not in a rush to do it, but I would like it done before March the 1st, before the arrival of spring. Because when spring comes, I'll be too busy up on the mountainside exploring or maybe in the garden doing that. I don't, I don't want to be spending all my time indoors. So for tonight's dinner, I will be using up whatever I've got left over. Be it potatoes and stuff like this. And then I need to do some shopping. So when I went down the high street today, by the time I got there, the butchers had closed. So I had to go to the co-op. And I know people have said to me before, I can't believe you go to the Waitrose store. It's is such an expensive place. I don't think it's that expensive, but I am going to try Asda, as it was suggested the last time I went shopping. But it's like today now, I went to the co-op, bought enough food for tonight and tomorrow, and it came to 50 pound, and there wasn't any food in there for the cats. That was just a bit of chicken and what else do I have? Chicken, gravy, and stuff to make a Sunday lunch. And this was a big store. This wasn't just a small little con convenience store because they are a bit more expensive. But we'll try this Asda and we'll see what it's like. It's always good to try something new. It's raining again in Old Wales. And apparently there's a storm coming, which I don't know anything about because I haven't got a, a TV. I told the TV licensed people as soon as I moved in that I didn't want one because I haven't got a TV. And I was saying this story to a friend of mine and he said, oh, because well, I said, apparently somebody's going to come to the house to inspect the house. And he said, well, if they come, I should do what he did. The guy came and he said, you haven't got a TV license. And my friend said, well, no, because I haven't got a TV. And the bloke said, can I come in and inspect? And he said, yes, come in the house and have a look. I'll put the kettle on. And the bloke said, oh, oh, okay then, that's fine. And he said, oh, well done, come on, the door is open, coming in. And I went, no, I, no, I believe you, I'm going to go. And then he left. So he called after him. He said, I thought you wanted to come in and have a look. And he said, if you had a TV and you didn't have the license, then you wouldn't have invited me in. So I will try that when they come. But that does mean I don't get to know what the weather what the weather is. I just open the windows and I look out and I go, yeah, it's a wet day. And I've learned over 30, 40 years, if there's cloud up on that mountain, then it's going to be a rainy day. If there's no cloud in the morning, then it's going to be a fine day. And I can see then if the cloud's coming from this side of the valley, it's probably going to be a quick little shower. So it's like the old farmers. You read the sky and you'll be able to tell the forecast and your eyes are a lot better than somebody who is living 30 miles away trying to tell you what's going on on your own street. But apparently there is a storm coming. But the last time they said there was a storm coming, it didn't, it didn't come here. It just passed us straight over the top. But it would be nice to have a day of warmth. 
So hopefully next week we will have a day. I have a plan next week to take you to one of the local museums. So I'm not going to say anything else. You'll have to wait and see. So hopefully that video will be up at the end of next week. But there is loads of stuff. Ah, see, now I can do this. There you go, look at that. Bit of drippage there. But there's loads to show you. Just want the weather to be on our side. And it's unfortunate now that the kids are going back to school because this week in the valleys, all the train, all the bus fares have been a pound. So if you want to go from the, from the top of the valley to the bottom, it's a pound. Whereas next week it goes back to the old fares. So I think for us, for me to get you to this place I want to go to, it might cost about £10.50. But that's fine. Because I think you will enjoy it. Now there is another museum I want to go to that I remember going to as a kid. But that is over in the Avon Valley. And I've looked online and to get a cab would be about £30 just to get there. So £60 I can't justify. The videos don't, don't make that much money. So I might have to wait and see if somebody is going over there with their work in the morning and maybe I could catch a lift and just give them £10 for each way. Or I could cycle, but I think it would take me the whole day to cycle there. Oh, that's just reminded me. I have bought a device which I haven't had a chance to try yet because of the weather being so bad. But it is a chest mount. So apparently I'll be able to put this uh, thing on me and put the camera there and I'll be able to go off and cycle for the day and you'll be able to see it as well. So I'm thinking, I was talking to a friend of mine, Jim, just now on the phone in London and I was saying to him about this strap and I said I might do some videos when the weather gets better where that is all we do, we just go out for a, a little cycle for the day. And who knows, maybe in the summer, once I've set the whole thing up and I can find a battery charge of the charges as the bike goes on, maybe we could do a live video one evening in the one evening in the summer from about seven o'clock until nine o'clock in the night or something. I could go and cycle over the mountains. We could have a look at what is up there, have a look at the views, maybe even see the northern lights. But I'll have to try and work that out first, you know, see the signal and everything. Well, look at that. Got a video and I got a clean kitchen. Can life get any better than that? I suppose it's now also time for a cup of tea. Ah, I want to show you those pictures I've bought. So let us retire to the living room. Right. So I've bought some pictures and paintings. Now there's so much of a curl on these, I might not be able to show you, but they are three pictures. And I can't remember what the correct term is now. A trickle, is it? Of, so it's one continuous picture that has been cut up into three. And to be honest, I thought they would be a bit bigger because I want them to go on the big wall. But I've been assured once they are in their frames, it will look really beautiful up on that wall. So, I will put my faith into the people that know about these things. So I've got that. Pop that back in the tube. Till the frames turn up. And then, 
What else did I buy? Right, I'll keep those to last. I bought, so I've taken you there a few weeks ago, Penpeach, the mountain. I bought a picture that depicts Penpeach. There it is. It's done in the old fashioned style of the railway poster. I'm not a fan of this though. When I looked at it, I thought the sheep were too big. I would have preferred it without the sheep. But then when I went to go and buy the other pictures, I didn't realize this was in my basket. So I've ended up with it anyway. So I'll put it somewhere. But again, I'm waiting for a frame. But these two, I absolutely adore because they come with a hard background. But again, these will go into picture frames. So, if you remember, last week, I went up to the, to the Rikos mountain to go and do the walk. Well, when the sun comes out, I'll take, I'll take you back because the views up there are spectacular. But that is a picture with a cyclist on. There's a bit of a cycling theme to, to this art artist but that is a, a one of the roads that you will see when the weather gets better it's a big mountain road that goes all the way down and takes you through to the next valley called the Rikos mountain Hirwine, because it's in the next valley Jackie Swan did that and she did another one so we've got the Rikos coming into the valley and we've got the bulk going out of it and again, the same sort of theme, the cyclists there with the wind farm. So when I first came to Wales, I went and joined the walking group. This was the place that we went to go and walk. So that's, this is the Bulk, the Bulk Mountain, the Bulk. Uh, that is in the Avon Valley, which is over the mountain, about three miles if I was to walk it. But I quite like this style. So these will go up on the wall somewhere once the frames come. Because I said at the time the house was not going to be finished within a matter of a month. It was going to take a while to, to get it done. So I, I have given, I'm self-imposed with this deadline of uh, March the 1st. You know, and we'll get the daffodils in the house and everything for St. David's Day. Now, somebody sent me two box, two bags of birdseed, which I'm very grateful for. So I've bought this. This is for the cats. I don't know if these things actually work or whether they just fall off the window after, after a, a while. So I've got to try and work out how to do it. Ah, oh, like that, is it? So there you go. And then I stick that onto the window. I don't know if it's gonna work, like I said, but the cat will be sat there and the birds will be out have, having their foods. And I'm sure they'll have a gay old time together. That's, I hope that's gonna stay on with a gust of wind. And look, there's a perch there for them to sit down and eat their food. So I'll set this up even if it's raining, because look, there's holes in the bottom there for the water to go through. So we'll have a load of fun with this until it falls off the window and smashes. <laughs> Everything is about suction pads these days. I bought some net curtains for the front of the house and the rod came with stick with sticky things on and I was in the bedroom the other night I had just got dressed and I was looking out of the looking out of the window to see the stars and the curtain just dropped <laughs> it's a good job there was nobody passing the street otherwise they would have got an eyeful so I've had to buy some more sticky things to put so the curtains can Stay up. It doesn't really lock into place. Anyway, for £10, 
what am I hoping for? Ah, right, you put four sticky pads on. Have you, have you got something like this? Does it actually work? So, what else is there to tell you? I still haven't started my model making thing. Build yourself a greenhouse, that is still in the box. I will start that at some point though. The potatoes, I told you about these, didn't I? The potatoes turned up, the Valor potatoes, so I need to put them into some egg boxes to chit them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do them in pots in the garden here until I can get an allotment sorted out. But I won't know about that until March, so it's a bit of a waiting game with that, unfortunately. Something I'm doing, I've changed slightly, is I'm putting the tea bag straight into the pot rather than trying to fuss around with that small cage thing. And then when I come to pour out a cup of tea, I have a strainer. Oh, well, this was quite an enjoyable little 10 minutes or however long this video has gone on for. I wasn't going to do one for Sunday. I was going to have a day off because I didn't know what to what to film, to, to be honest. I've slept a lot of today. That's why by the time I got down to the butchers, the place was closed. But before I go to sleep tonight, I will do my Asda order because it's all about trying to book a slot now for these things to, to turn up. Because somebody said, why don't I go to the shop to get my food? And even to go to Asda, it would cost £8.50. And to have it delivered to the house, I think with Asda, somebody said it was £1.50. With Ray, Waitrose, I think it cost £3. So it'll be interesting to see what things I can get and to see if it works out actually cheaper than going to Waitrose. So, anyway. It's another bit of nonsense for you to enjoy. And I'll catch up with you next time. So from me until then, bye for now.